If I know that I'm gonna work out in the morning, I will set out all my clothes. I'll get my pre-workout ready the night before. I wanna make working out in the morning as easy as possible. So I do this with a lot of things. I wanna make everything as easy as possible. That way I don't have to think about it. Same thing when meal prepping. I will write out my list when I go to the store. That way I know what I'm gonna buy. And I don't have to think about, okay, do I wanna eat this? Do I wanna eat that? I have everything set. I'm sure there have been times when you sit down with your significant other and you guys think, okay, what should we eat tonight? And then you're thinking, 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 and then it's eight o'clock and you guys still haven't eaten or you decide to get a pizza and cheat on your diet. So getting up in the morning to work out again, this can be challenging enough. Like I said, I don't wanna think about it. I wanna make everything as easy as possible. So once I see my clothes, I know I have to work out. Once I see my pre-workout, I know I have to work out. This is when I learn to start fueling my environment for success. I wanna make sure the environment prepares me for the best me. So ultimately how a habit works is you have a cue, a craving or a trigger, you have a response, and then you have a reward. So I know this is a little confusing. I'm gonna make a whole nother video talking about all the nerdy stuff and going more into detail about that. But I'll give you a quick example. Let's say I'm a smoker. I have the cue of stress. So stress is coming upon me and what do I wanna do? Well, I have a craving and a trigger to smoke a cigarette. So what's my response? I smoke the cigarette. What's the reward? Well, I'm no longer stressed. So smoking is a bad habit as we all know. When we do a good habit, we wanna make these cues as easy and as obvious as possible. Every habit is initiated by a cue and we are more likely to notice the cues that stand out. Seeing these obvious cues are gonna make you lean more towards that desired habit. Unfortunately, the environments where we live and work often make it easy to not do certain actions because there's no obvious cue or trigger. So for example, you most likely store your fruits and veggies in a drawer in your fridge but every time you open the fridge, you don't see these fruits and veggies. Let's say you wanna eat more fruits and veggies. So take them out of that drawer and put them up on the top shelf. A lot of people, they'll have soda right on the top shelf in front of them. Guess what they're gonna reach for? That soda every single time because it's that cue that is super obvious. It's a bad habit and we want to try and avoid that one. So like I said, for a good habit, you wanna make the cues super obvious. For a bad habit, you wanna make those cues super hard. I used to be, addicted to playing Xbox. I would play a lot of Xbox and it's probably the reason I got fat. So what I started doing at the end is I took my Xbox, I unplugged everything when I was done playing, I put it away in a closet. And if I wanted to play again, I had to take everything back out of that closet and hook it up. It became a pain in the butt. The queue became hard and eventually I just stopped playing Xbox because I no longer had the desire to take it out of the closet every single time I wanted to play it. For this reason, preparing your environment is one of the best ways to instill good habits. I know that you don't floss your teeth and I'm not the best at it either, but a great thing that we can do is set our floss right on the sink. That way after we're done brushing our teeth, we see the floss, we have that cue, and then we have the trigger slash craving like, okay, maybe I should floss. And then you floss your teeth and then you have the reward of, okay, I floss my teeth. However, if you have the floss away in the uh, the cabinets, you're most likely not gonna floss your teeth. I wanna give you a few more examples here. So let's say you wanna start doing more push-ups in a day. Put a sticky note on your shower that says, do 15 push-ups. If you want to remember to refill your water bottle every time it's more than halfway empty, use a Sharpie and put a line on the water bottle at about the halfway mark. Many, many water bottle companies do this. I'm sure you've seen water bottles with the lines that say, good job, Great job, you're getting there, halfway done, and so on. If you want to read a book instead of looking at your phone and scrolling on social media, make the book that you wanna read the background on your phone. I know I do this when I first started working out. I made a fit dude, or one of my, uh, one of my role models, the background on my phone. I then got that cue every day that I need to work out and eat healthy so I can look like this. To basically summarize things up, if you wanna make a habit a big part of your life, you need to make the cue a big part of your environment. Make sure the best choice is the easiest one because your willpower will not be the long-term solution. There are some days when I can say, ah, I don't need the soda, but if the soda's there, I'm most likely gonna drink it. So this is why I try to not keep any soda at my house.